acromegaly. Acromegaly occurs due to excessive growth hormone production after epiphyseal closure. So what are the causes of acromegaly? Usually is due to somatotroph adenoma in the pituitary but may also be due to idiopathic hyperplasia of the anterior pituitary. It may also be due to ectopic production of growth hormone. There is generalized visceral megaly, cardiomegaly, macroglossia, and glandular enlargement. It causes bitemporal hemianopsia and there is frontal bossing also. There is increased hand and foot size and there is increased shoe and glove size. Patient complains that his head got smaller and or the shoes got smaller. What are the effects on lower jaw and joints? There is prognathism, protrusion of the lower jaw due to overgrowth. There are widened spaces between the lower incisor because of the overgrowth of the lower jaw. So what are the effects on joints and bones? Osteoporosis, osteoarthritis, arthropathy and kyphosis and what's the x-ray feature on the x-ray spine there are biconcave fish-like vertebral bodies and what are the effects on soft tissues there is large fleshy nose hyperhidrosis and oily skin there is increased heel pad thickness due to soft tissue swelling and there is carpal tunnel syndrome and what's carpal tunnel syndrome it's due to entrapment of median nerve at the wrist joint under the flexor retinoculum. Median nerve supplies a lateral three and a half finger including thumb. So they get pain and numbness in these three and a half fingers while medial one and a half fingers are supplied by the ulnar nerve. Effect of acromegaly on carbohydrate, protein and fat. Most patients have abnormal GTT and 25% of the patients develop diabetes mellitus. The protein content of the body is increased and fat is decreased and what's the effect on respiratory gastrointestinal and cardiovascular system in the respiratory system sleep apnea occur in more than 60 percent of patients in the gastrointestinal system one-third the patients have colonic polyposis and increased risk of mortality from colonic malignancy and the most significant effect of GH axis is on the cardiovascular system. There occur chronic heart disease, cardiomyopathy, left ventricular hypertrophy, hypertension and arrhythmias. Patient may develop gynecomastia and galactoria. There is increased level of IGF-1 and that is associated with coiter and it produces to multinodular coiter. The patient feels weak and fatigue. What are the lab findings in acromegaly? Due to increased pulsatility of the GH, a single random sample is not useful. There is increased IGF-1. So how the diagnosis is confirmed? Diagnosis is confirmed by failure of the growth hormone levels to fall to less than 1 microgram per liter within 1 to 2 hour of oral glucose load of 75 milligram. About 20% of the patients exhibit paradoxical growth hormone increase after the glucose load. Prolactin is also increased in 25% of the patients. MRI is done for the pituitary adenoma imaging and CD is done for ectopic production in the body. So what's the treatment of acromegaly? The treatment is drug surgery and radiotherapy. Somatostatin analogs are used as adjuvant therapy and what's Pegbizomant. Pegbizomant is a growth hormone receptor antagonist. Given subcutaneously daily, Pegbizomant antagonizes endogenous growth hormone action by blocking its peripheral binding to its receptor. So it normalizes IGF-1 level in 90% of the cases and GH level however remains high. So what are the side effects of Pegvisomont? There is abnormal LFT which is reversible and there is lipodystrophy at the injection site. So what are the other drug used? The other drug used are bromocryptine, cabergoline and octeriotide alone or in combination. What is acteriotride? Acteriotride is an octapeptide that mimics somatostatin and inhibits the release of growth hormone. So this is the difference between octeriotide and pegvisomont. Pegvisomont prevents the growth hormone action on its receptor but octeriotide inhibits the release of growth hormone.
octreotide also inhibits the release of glucagon, gastrin and insulin. The surgical treatment is transesphenoidal removal of both microadenoma and macroadenoma. An acromegaly recurs in 10% of patients. Hypopituitarism develops in 15% of patients. What are the advantages and disadvantages of radiotherapy? Radiation or radiotherapy is done for residual tumor. It reduces the tumor mass and growth hormone level after few years but it may cause secondary malignancies in 2% of cases but the advantage is that in the absence of radiation 75% of the tumors recur. Due to hypothalamic damage more than 50% of the patient develop pituitary deficiency in 10 years and most patients require lifelong pituitary hormone